Good evening, and welcome back to Tyrrell Time. I'm Lonnie Donegan, and it has been a long time since we last saw each other. Happy midweek, everybody. We're finally back. It's taken freaking ages, I know, but we're back on schedule now. Um, I'm afraid I have been terribly, terribly sick, and no doubt you've all been incredibly worried. But also, lots of other stuff has happened. I've not been sick for a whole month. Uh, what's been going on? Why? What's my excuse? So, um, well, obviously got sick, played a lot of uh, Formula One. Then we had the Festival of Lights. <laughs> then I bought a drone. Then I went to Iceland with my best friend. <laughs> Dickhead. Then I flew the drone. So here we are, it's Tyrrell time once again. Uh, we are here for the 2001 Austrian Grand Prix. Um, let's have a catch up on what's been happening. Oh, we've already done the news, we made a profit, that's always good. It's always good when I load up a save that I've forgotten all about and realise I've been turning a profit, that's always a good sign. Uh, just making double sure everything's fine. Well, the construction team are very happy, unlike the drivers. Let's see how we are. So we're on a second spec of the Mugen Honda power units. No new tyres so far and uh, quite a lot of fuels though. We are in charge of fuels as I recall. We've not done any building yet. How are we on next year's car? Ooh, cutting it a little fine. Cutting it a little fine, but we'll, we will get there. That's fine. No driver aids in production at the moment, which is absolutely fine. Uh, Everything's good with the factory smashing. We've just got a bunch of very worn cars, but a lot of spare parts with which to solve that problem. Let's see what's going on in Sponsor Town. So we're about three million off uh, this year's funding levels for next year, which means we have a, a little bit of work still to do. Uh, the key sponsors are all in place though. Um, Mugen Honda, Bridgestone and Shell, uh, plus Red Bull as team sponsor. We need to start keeping them a little bit happier. Uh, we have some sponsor bonuses in place on two of them, but we need to work a bit harder on the Shell Works deal, which is probably why we're still taking them out for lunch. Uh, we've got 10% working on that. That's fine by me. 10% uh, working on getting a uh, guarantee for that two-season engine partnership and the rest then I guess are on hospitality and trying to bring more dollar pounds into the team yeah we're working on a two million one season deal with Korean Air and 20% working on a AGFA deal that is going to be worth I don't know how much and Sonax have 15% okay okay I'm, I'm back on top of things now we're also talking to Tommy Hilfiger uh, who even knows what they're going to say we did take out a loan that's due for repayment in oh it's over a, we've got a full season and more so that's fine share price looks good but we can't capitalize on that so we might as well press on hadn't we uh we will knock out some spare parts first of all and then we will get down to brass tacks uh get the cars back on track and uh, see if we can't see out the season with some dignity that would be very pleasant. Uh, testing. Am I going to run any testing? I don't have a huge amount of money. Uh, 
I do 230 miles, but we need to repair car 3 first or else the testing will be for naught. Mm, maybe not. We just need to get it. Down to there. Uh, in terms of actual testing, um, we might want to redeploy some people. don't think we really need to do any more fuel testing at this point. Um, I'd rather work on development and setup. Use those guys to repair the cars. And it will be nice to give our uh, development a boost with the testing. There we go. Let's do that then. What did that get us, if anything? Three points. That's actually not too bad. That might save us a round. Quite happy with that. Okay, we've got the race cars to get up to scratch. As best we can. Car 1 will be running with somewhere, but at least with no damage. Um, I'm also going to take a look and see if there's any more... There are more mechanics available. This is excellent news. Uh, construction design... Uh, there is more construction bods available. Always good. Um, we're getting to the point where we're actually not far away from needing to upgrade the factory. Uh, a little concerning because obviously cash flow isn't quite where I'd want it to be for that, but nevertheless. I will start putting up the uh, aggression levels of both drivers um, for the last few races as well, since we have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go for a less conventional setup for these boys. Uh, both cars are running the hard compound tyres, if I remember correctly, and I do. We have a new spec of fuel with a bit more power. So we'll get that on everyone. Um, yeah, the hard tyres have actually been working quite well for us. Um, the ability to cut out that extra pit stop I think is definitely playing to our favour. I think we may suffer, though, on the harder compound in Austria, given the nature of the track, but we're going to run with it anyway, um, because it's at least a baseline for how the car is operating. Don't crash on me, game. We're friends. 20 degrees with some cloud cover for qualifying in Austria. Let's see how we do. Qualifying hasn't exactly been our strong suit. 13th and 14th uh, could be worse. We, we, we are ahead of um, the, one of the Stuarts, one of the Menardis, both Arrows, Prost and Sauber's. Uh, up at the sharp end though, Johnny Newhouse sticks it on pole for Ferrari on a 111.008, ahead of Fissy Keller in the Williams and Panis in the Jordan. Nice indeed. I hope you're all well by the way. I have missed making these videos. It's very nice to be back. 19 degrees and cloudy, so that should boost engine power a little bit for the Grand Prix. Um, we will pit Takagi first, I think. Uh, lap 35 for a 36 lap second stint. And the other way around for Nakano, of course, he'll come in lap 36. Very predictable strategy, but fortunately the AI hasn't got much chance of uh, figuring that out. Double points! Nice work, boys. I think part of that is definitely down to the hard tyres, to be honest. Um, still, it's a Ferrari 1-2. Johnny Newhouse leading home teammate Heinz Harold Frentzen. Damon Hill rounding out your podium. Panis brings it home fourth, so he did go backwards in the race, but, you know, still a Good haul of points there for Jordan. Uh, Takagi leads home uh, Nakano in the last points paying positions, beating out uh, Marini in the second Jordan. That may help us in the constructors, actually. Uh, Newhouse is still your driver's championship leader. Still to play for, though. Mika Hakkinen is still in the fight. Um, Takagi, P7, and uh, Nakano in P10. That puts us in fourth in the constructors. That is extra money. And uh, we've got a bit of a gap, actually, to Jordan, so I needn't have worried as much as I did. But it's still on the knife edge. I mean, they did get a fourth there. Um, that gap could easily fall away in the last few races. So um, it's good to capitalise while we can. Obviously, we're not going to catch McLaren at this point, but still, 
fourth I'm very happy with, actually. Uh, made a decent profit at that Grand Prix. A very decent profit. Um, Korean Air has fallen flat. Oh, no, not Korean Air. Korean Air have signed. Wowzers. Yeah, let's sign them up. So who did we lose? We must have lost Sonax and um, the other one we were talking to. Uh, Agfa, that's the one. But that's okay. Tommy Hilfiger is in the game for 800,000 uh, for two seasons. So we'll put an extra bod on that. And then we've got 60% uh, staff to spend elsewhere. And we're going to do that. We will go after... Um, Zepter. And we will go after Hewlett Packard. Because why not? Still no progress on uh, the guarantee or the works deal, but we'll move guys over to that uh, continually now till the end of the season. In terms of car development, where are we at now? Oh, excellent news. We have finished. Uh, the model phase, which means we can move on now to the final phase, the wind tunnel. We've got uh, a few rounds to play with as well, so that's making me a happy bunny. It's good that we threw all the effort into next year's car when we did, actually. Um, I think that has actually paid dividends. Uh, should free up some capacity for us at the end of the season. We're making good money now as well at each Grand Prix. Uh, hauling in the points uh, does mean we will be getting most of the money from the sponsors uh, given where we were last year um, and we made so much money that I feel confident actually running a cheeky little test just a little one just a little one um, too late to really do any development testing um, we could do more fuel testing but I'm sort of not sure really what the point is um, but yeah, you know what? How's car three for where? It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we can we can afford that then. Um, that means we have to. I hope this works out. It does. That's exactly the result I wanted. So we will spend some points straight away on the wind tunnel. That's good. And uh, we have got some points to spend on our race fuels. Um, given we're not having engine failures, I'm just going to throw in some more power. Um, there we go. That will be our last speck of fuel for the remainder of the season, I would think. Um, although never say never, right? There's still five rounds to go. It, it might become necessary. We will uh, repair up our cars. And get back out on track in the fatherland. Uh, I'm gonna, also going to use the last of our staff to repair car 3 so we're ready for another test should we uh, deem it necessary I mean certainly we want the setup points given the car is decently competitive on race pace if not on quality pace um, right slightly different setups for our guys here um, but still going to stick with the the hard compound uh, we've got no new engine spec, no new tyre spec. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I do wonder, actually, if maybe I want to split our strategy again and stick Nakano on the softs. Do you know, I think I, think I will. Um, it's a worse tyre, but hopefully him running on lower fuel might do us all right. We're, we're okay on pit stop efficiency. I'm just wondering if we can <coughs> get a bit more speed out of the car in quali that way. Uh, not very much, although he does out-qualify Takagi. 
Uh, Johnny Newhouse takes uh, the second consecutive pole position ahead of teammate Hans Halfrens, and Fissy Keller and Hackenham make it a Williams 3 4. Hill leads home Coulthard in a McLaren 5 6. We're out qualified by both Jordans, but uh, we're within stroking distance of the slower one, and I do think our race pace is better than theirs, generally speaking. 23 degrees with a strong wind um, for race day. We're quite happy with all that. Uh, we will be stopping lap 23 with Toro Takagi. Um, and he will have fresh boots at every phase. I'm going to start Nakano on scrubbed tyres. Um, and then change him to fresh. Because, you know, they've been heat cycled, so they should be better for the start of the Grand Prix. He'll pit lap 16 and lap 31. That's a little later than I would like, but I think I think it's probably fine. Let's see how we do. Not good. Uh, Toro Takagi has an engine failure, after I've just been talking explicitly about how we haven't been having those. Uh, Nakano brings it home P11, um, so clearly the hard tyre is the one for us still. Although he does beat home Olivier Panis' Jordan. Uh, Marini picks up a point for Jordan, though, in P6. Uh, the winner, though, of this Grand Prix is McHackinen in the Williams ahead of Newhouse and Frentzen making it a Ferrari 2-3. Damon Hill brings it home fourth for McLaren. Wurtz fifth for Benetton and uh, Marini of course taking that last points paying position. That may move Benetton yeah very close now to Jordan um, but again we're all bunching up a, a little bit towards the end of the season. I'm going to go back to hard tyres for both cars. Huge profit again at this Grand Prix. That's that's making me feel happy. Uh, we have one update on the Shell contract. That's pleasing. 30% of our guys are available again, which is a bad sign. Uh, I need to change our VIPs as well. Some of you will be face palming at this amateur hour display. Um, I didn't do that. I'm going to put more people negotiating on these two season deals. Can't forget the basics. It's not good to get lazy. Uh, who who did I lose? Okay, Hewlett Packard are still in play. That's good. I'll give them an extra 5% and invite them along to our party. We lost Zepter. That's okay. Um, right, we need to get more bods on um, on these deals. That gives me an extra 10% to play with, and I will go after another small sponsor with that. Uh, Pearl or Autosport or Falca. Mm. I'm going to go for Pearl. Let's see how we're looking overall, though. We should now be about on the same level. Yes, we are. We're, we're about 800k shy of this year's budget. The car's 90% cover. We have two slots left uh, and we'll take the biggest ones that come along. Um, really out of this bunch though, Korean Air is the only one that's paying any money worth writing home about. Hopefully we can land Hewlett Packard. That would be that would be very good for us. Uh, and of course we're talking more to Mugen Honda and Shell. In terms of VIPs, Shell, yes, we want to bring you along Rebel, yes. Mugen Honda, yes. Um, actually, I'll drop Rebel for the moment and bring along Hewlett Packard. Okay, smashing. Uh, in terms of preps for next year, we should be close to being complete. We are very close to being complete. Um, progress there was a little slower than I would have liked, but that's absolutely within uh, tolerance levels. Um, let's... Let's run testing again, first see how much it costs. Very reasonable, actually. But 230 miles was enough last time, wasn't it? No point spending any extra money if we don't need to. Oh, shit. Well, apparently it wasn't enough this time. Good job, nerds. Uh, right. 
let's improve fuel again, given that I did that completely by accident. Uh, more power. Reliability is less of a concern now. Still no new tyres from Bridgestone. They're not making uh, making for a good partner, to be honest. Uh, given that we're the only team working with them this season. <coughs> and we may be the only team working with them next season, actually. You think they'd be uh, putting a bit more effort into our relationship. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just take the dog, we'll pack our clothes in the dead of night, call for a taxi and leave them a note on the bedside. It's it's cool. It's fine. And in time, we will heal and perhaps forgive. Do we want to start anything else? I don't think we do. We just want to... Well, let's get that damage dealt with. And repair Nakano's car. It was awful bad luck uh, to get that DNF with Takagi. Um, I was feeling good about him. Uh, more mechanics, but we've not really got any space for them. Um, design office, though. We do have space in the design office. So, let's fill that space up. Still no new staff in commercial. I wonder if we can headhunt anybody. No, no one worth having. In construction, we can get... But, I mean, again, we've basically... We've basically maxed ourselves out. Um, same with mechanics. Uh, I think we're at the point where we really do have to begin... Looking at a factory upgrade. We're making enough money per race. Uh, not now, we're not though. Maybe start of next year. Start of next year we will uh, begin work on a new factory. And then we can get a supercomputer installed. Um, I think that would definitely help us out uh, a fair amount. Okay. Okay. Let's set up the cars and uh, see what happens to us in Hungary. Did I run testing? Why is my frame rate dropping? What's going on? Yeah, testing I did. Okay. Okay, cool. Come on, game. Stop it. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, everybody. I know it's annoying. Um, uh, yeah. I think that's that's a good bet. New spec of fuel in both cars. And a, again, I'm going to move Nakano back to the hard compound tyre. Super duper. 28 degrees and dry for qualifying. Not expecting any miracles here. Let's uh, see how quality treats us. Not well. Nakano, though, does come home 12th ahead of Takagi in 15th. We are um, quite a way off the pace of the Jordans. Um, a lot more than I feel happy about. However, Johnny Newhouse makes it a, another pole position for Ferrari ahead of Damon Hill and Heinz Harold Frentzen. 32 degrees uh, with a strong wind for race day. That heat is probably going to come and bite us in the bum a little bit, but we'll do our best. In terms of strategy, you know the deal. Uh, Nakano is going to pit first. He will be pitting lap 39. No, lap 38. 
Maths. Go team. Uh, it's quite a long stint, so I'm putting fresh tyres on at every stage. 39 will be the magic number for Toro Takagi. I'm hoping the car bears up okay in the heat and that um, being on the hard compound tyre helps us maintain favourable track position. Um, it's not a great track for overtaking, but the game doesn't always uh, consider that. Oh, well, we did improve, but it's a double points finish for Jordan, which is going to hurt us in the constructors. Uh, Takagi again fails to finish. Engine failure, I think that's the heat, to be honest. The Mugen Honda units are not great with heat. Uh, Frensen takes the win, though, for Ferrari. His first win in a while, uh, ahead of a McLaren uh, podium, uh, Damon Hill and David Coulthard. Hakkinen brings it home fourth for Williams, and then Marini leads Panis in a Jordan 5-6. How does that affect the constructors? Uh, the gap now is three points. We are three points clear of Jordan. We really need to get our shit together. Uh, healthy profit from that last Grand Prix. Um, Pearl, though, have signed with someone else. Those bastards. Uh, actually, most sponsors seem to have been taken up now. Uh, so we'll put this into the Hewlett Packard deal and hope that no one poaches it from us. No improvement on either of our main deals either. Our relationship must not be that great, to be honest. However, we should have finished next year's car. And we have. Delightful. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you as well for your incredible patience while I've been away and for my long self-indulgent intro to this video. Hope you are all well. I'm off now to record some Motorsport Manager and uh, that should be with you in a few days. It'll take a bit of time to edit because... It needs to be edited. Have yourselves a very good one, and we will talk again very, very soon. I'm back.